Now we, we had oxygen standing by, ambulances uh, around the corner <laughs> waiting for you, expecting <laughs> to come into use after a couple yeah. of minutes. You, you lasted into the second half, what's going on? I did, I lasted longer than I thought. I don't know what we'll be like tomorrow morning, <laughs> uh, that's the problem. But no, it, it wasn't uh, that hard a game. I mean, people were, they're going hard, like, but it's, there wasn't a lot of running in it. There was, well, I wasn't doing a lot of running, put it that way. A couple of breaks you made there? A couple of breaks, just to remember if you can see what to do, but uh, it's no easy. It's no easy. Now, Arthur, of course, uh, some great Gala hike memories from the past. Yeah, I Oh, yes, I think, I think the best one was at Netherdale when... Well, across here, sorry, when we when we, when we beat them in the, the last, I think it was the last minute we beat you, Jim. Right? I think uh, Dudge scored, Peter Dudge scored in the corner. Yeah, that is one of the best memories I've got. And what about you from Hoyt Beaton Gala? I'm sure there was a couple of times that did happen. There'd be hundreds of them looking. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, just, just what I remember, that were always fantastic games, big crowds, maybe sometimes six, seven internationals in each team, no always, but even if it was... Even a lot, a lot often juniors in it, it was always a passionate game and I always remember playing them uh, and they were, they were great games to play in and I sometimes think that the tactics went out the window, it was just get your sleeves rolled up and get stuck in and uh, that's, that's the way these games were but they, they were great games to play in, I mean the crowd made it kind of, the rivalry between Knight and Gala was fantastic. What about you, Arthur? Is, is this going to be your your last ever appearance on a on a rugby pitch? I think so. I'm getting out, I'm getting nearer sixty now, so I think it will be my last appearance. What about you, Jim? Any more? Is this wet the appetite for a comeback? After today, I'm thinking about making a comeback. <laughs> quite right, quite right. I think I've got a great future behind us. <laughs> Tell me quickly about your boy Neil doing very well at the moment. Ah, he's doing all right. He's coming on. I think uh, I think a lot of the young players that are coming in now. It's a pity they kind of get playing with good experience in internationals and that's a problem I think in Scotland that these young boys didn't get a chance to play enough with, with old season campaigners. Uh, maybe too many young ones together and it, consequently it takes longer for them to develop. The quicker they get in with good players the better. And Arthur, I think you agree with that as well. Yeah, I yeah, thoroughly agree with that, yeah. Because there's, there's not the same boys running about like Sir Jim and myself. He, when he went into the, the Hoyt team, he had internationalised. I come into the Gala team, they were internationalised around about us. And they, 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 just their experience, he learned of them. Well, there was three internationals at least on the pitch today, <laughs> so uh, well done on your efforts today. Right, cheers, thanks cheers, very much. Thanks. Cheers.